Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. Today I wanted to get into 10 things that I would absolutely buy again if it was lost, damaged or even if it ran out. So in this video I'm going to break down these items into three different categories. I'm going to go into accessories and then I'm going to go into clothes and then I'm going to go into skincare. Each item is not necessarily luxury but it is something that i will most certainly replace if any of those three things happen so let's get into it first i want to get into accessories so the ob belt is a really really nice statement belt absolutely love that belt here's the problem when it came out i waited to get it and then it was no more okay so i ended up getting the gucci belt and i've mentioned this belt before <sighs> This is like nothing but like goodness, guys. Look at this. It's goodness. It's such a nice belt. This chain is amazing. Gucci sometimes have really, really nice accessories and sometimes they don't. This is one of those belts that I'm gonna have for a really long time. As far as the quality of the belt, 10 out of 10. Um, it's really heavy. And in my head, I want to say it's like brass, but I don't, I don't know, but it's just a really nice quality belt. I don't know if you guys can see like the thickness of it, but I absolutely love it. And then also the GG on it, it's not like, it's not the regular GG, it's the interlock G's, which I love. But this belt definitely has been a great addition to my wardrobe because I can wear it with jeans. Um, I can wear it with dresses. I can wear it with skirts. If you are a girl who loves leggings and cat suits, you can definitely wear it with that. So for me, this is something that I would replace again if it got lost, damaged, lost or damaged. So Gucci belt. And I think I got a size 85. I think there's, I want to say 85. Don't quote me. I'll double check. But it's a really nice belt. Something that I would definitely purchase again. The second thing that I would definitely buy again would be my Chanel brooch. Now, I told you guys the story. I bought this when I went to Miami, to the Miami district, and they were different sizes. There was a really small one that was, I wanna say the average size one, and then there's this one. So the Chanel brooch that's smaller, I would say that you will be able to wear it on more clothes because it's not as heavy you can wear it on your hat you can wear it on a scarf anywhere this one is a little bit bigger but i really really like this one and that was solely because people were saying that the pearls on the chanel's were falling off of some of them so i went for the one that had like the leather interlocking which is really really nice it's white it's white and black and then it's the gold one very very nice it's not super big but it's definitely big enough to, you know, show on a shirt or a jacket. Now, the back of it, the actual pin, it's kind of thick. Just be cautious when you are adding something like this to your clothes. I wish they came out with something that you could actually stick on your clothes. And this didn't like really cause like a hole on your shirt or your hat or whatever. But because it's this size, I'm not necessarily going to wear something like this on on a hat like it's so big but I would definitely wear it on a scarf but this brooch was an investment piece just like the belt and I would absolutely replace it again if it got lost or damaged if you are a girl who loves uh, brooches I would recommend going into a Chanel because online they're just like you don't really get to see what they have but you could also get them pre-loved brooches they're beautiful, they are a statement piece, and I will absolutely replace this if it got lost or damaged. So the third thing that I will replace, or replace if it got damaged or if it was lost, is my Hermes bracelet. Didn't get the really large one. I don't know if they even sell those anymore. So here in Atlanta, I did go to the um, Hermes store to actually buy it. I don't recall them still having the really large one, which I still love, but I went for something a little bit more on the like average size which is this one and it's the one that's like a nice beige color I like this one so really nice bracelet it does scratch so I try not to sit at my desk while working with it 
um, if my hands are gonna be on the top of the desk. If my hands are off of the desk, I definitely keep it on. But I keep it away from my watch and I actually wear it in front of my David Yerman bracelet. This is something that I would definitely replace if it got lost or damaged. And to be quite honest, I think I wanna get like two more, like a black one and possibly a white one. Um, and that's probably it. I had a multicolor one, but it really wasn't my cup of tea. So definitely a white one, a black one, and this neutral color right here. So the fourth thing in my accessories section would be my Gucci trunk bag. I probably showed this bag 500 times <laughs> on this channel, but that is because it's a really nice bag. This handle here is gorgeous. The bag is just made really, really well. Gucci sometimes is a hit or miss for me, but this bag, and they have one other bag that I absolutely love, but this is a really, 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 really nice bag. The chain is not as thick as the YSL chain, but it's still a nice bag. And for me, it's the bamboo piece that I really, really fell for. It's a pretty beautiful red color. It's not super bright and it's not super dark. The sun is going in and out and it's gonna drive me insane. Look at the sun. <laughs> so, so this bag is something that I will absolutely purchase again. And also, I would also get it in the green color that they had. A really nice color, uh, beautiful. It was like a hunter green. If I can find a photo, I'll pop it in. But beautiful, beautiful color. Perfect with the bamboo top. The green one would have went well with this too, with the same brown color bamboo. Absolutely love it. So. If this got lost or if it was stolen or damaged, not stolen, if it was damaged, <laughs> I would definitely be purchasing this again. So the next section will be my clothes. I'm not gonna drag every single piece over, but I am gonna show you pictures of some of the items. Um, but the first thing is my Cos leather coat. The reason why I love this Cos leather coat is solely because it doesn't have any hardware. The jacket is 100% leather. It's really, really nice. There is no hardware on the belt, on the buttons or anything. So the reason why I would repurchase this is because, because it doesn't have any hardware, I can wear it a ton of ways. I'm not stuck wearing just gold with it. If I decided to wear silver, which is not often, I'm still gonna be able to wear that jacket. If I have a bag that has a certain type of hardware and I don't really want to mix metals, this is the perfect jacket. Great for work, great for a brunch, great for just browsing around the mall. You can wear it with sneakers, you can wear it with shoes. So many ways you can wear this coat. It was an investment piece, but I still think it was very, very affordable. But ladies, if it got lost or if it was damaged, I will try to replace it. Even if it's not from Cos, I'm gonna find something similar because it is an addition to my wardrobe that made an impact. Now, for the girls who like jackets that have hardware, this is not the jacket for you. However, you guys know, the Frankie Shop got nice jackets. They do have some that are leather, but if you're looking for something that's 100% leather, definitely do a Google search and try to get the best quality for your budget. Max Mara and Bruno Cuccinelli, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Very, very, very expensive, but the quality of those two brands right there is unmatched. So if you're looking to invest in a, a trench leather coat, look into those places. If you are a girl who lives in New York, you may be able to find something for the low, low downtown. <laughs> so the cost leather coat is another thing that I would definitely replace if it was lost or even if it was damaged. The second thing in this section would be my red leather coat from Wolf and Badger's website, but the jacket is by Aggie, A-G-G-I. Guys, okay, this is not a leather coat. It's not leather, however, I love, I'm gonna show you a picture too. I love this jacket solely because it has a little bit of shoulder pads, but it's just a really nice statement piece from my closet. I don't know, can you guys see? It's not leather. It's like some, I don't even know what this is, but it's a really nice jacket. Like, I'm gonna have it for a while because I do take care of my stuff but it's a really nice jacket and it fits well with my wardrobe aesthetic, especially being a girl who has a ton of neutrals in her closet. 
hence why I got on a white button up shirt today. So this red leather, faux leather blazer is something that I would definitely replace if it was lost or damaged. The third thing would be my Frankie Shop white faux leather moto jacket. You guys already know I purchased two other moto jackets from them. Dang, I got four. I got four jackets from the Frankie shop that are faux leather. They are really nice faux leather jackets. So this white one, I don't know if I've shown this to you guys before, but I absolutely love this jacket. You're not gonna be able to see because it's so bright and it's white. I'll pop in a photo. I love to wear this with all black and then a pop of white, literally. Very, very nice jacket. I think the grain in the jacket is really nice. It doesn't have shoulder pads, but it does have buttons here at the top that do come off. The zipper is real, and it has a nice belt at the bottom. Absolutely love this jacket. One of the Frankie Shops, guys. <laughs> so, I would definitely be replacing this if it got lost or damaged. And the last item in this section would be my Jimmy Choo Maceo 85 boots. Okay. I can't pull them out because they're gonna take up the entire screen, but I will pop in a slight video or a photo with them on. Listen, I would replace these a hundred times over solely because it is very hard to find a boot for a tall girl who is six feet that comes all the way up the thigh. Sam, not Sam Edelman, Stuart Weissman does have their icon, iconic boots that go up, but those are like a stretch leather. These are not. But when I tell you these boots fit your girl so freaking nice, like I wish I would have gotten both colors, but I sat on it, I sat on it, I did. I sat on it for a while and then it ended up going on sale, which I'm glad, <laughs> but I should have just purchased the both of them because getting both of them would have literally been the price of one the original price so but these boots are absolutely amazing 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 they're really nice they're really good quality and I told you guys before I had to get a size 13 um <laughs> I don't know what's going on with brands but most of these shoes and clothes are actually running really small and it's kind of getting really annoying like gosh like but anyway so these boots I would definitely replace if they were lost or if it got damaged. Let's get into the third section, which will be my skincare products. These three items that I'm gonna show you, they're really new to my skincare routine, but let me tell you something. I see a difference every single time I use them. Now, one of them is just some towels. And the, I just got a new order in today, so I have to go get them out the the mailbox but these are the clean skin oh you can you even see it nope it's the oh wait let me see <laughs> these are the clean skin club towels guys let me tell you these right here they're so thick I love these things if you do not use these or some form of a like a towelette on your face you are missing out now I never had issues with my skin because I would buy white rags or baby rags and use those on my skin. I do not use the same rag that I use on my body as I do my face. So I had a separate section for those and I also would wash those by themselves. Not, I wouldn't mix it in with my regular stuff. But these have been a game changer. One towel I can use for my entire facial routine. Some people do actually cut it in half but I literally use all four corners for a different part of my skincare wash routine. So I just got a new order in and I did sign up for the subscription just so I don't have to worry about keep getting it. Now, initially I put 60 days. I thought I put 90, but I ended up switching it to 90 days because each pack does have 50. So give or take, that's like a hundred, right? So if I'm saying 90 days, I have an extra 10 that I have. So. And they had like a little discount. So they do two boxes come up to like 36. Now Amazon does have some. I can link those as well for you guys. I just don't know about the smell. One girl found a brand that was really good. Uh, but she said it did have a slight smell. But I guess some people smell it. Some people don't. But these I would definitely 
always replace these when they run out. The second thing in my skincare is my, oh, I just did a video. You guys probably won't see it for another couple of weeks, but it's my vitamin C by Image ID. Child, this and something else is a game changer. I used to use a specific um, vitamin C serum. It was cool, but this one is a very thick it almost smells like medicine a little bit, but I absolutely love it. You only need a drop. It says three to five drops, but girl, this thing like 112 or something like that, or 110. You don't need that much. You just need a little bit. Once your face is moisturized and stuff, um, or has like, not moisturized, once your face has like some sort of like hyaluronic acid or something, then this goes on top of it, you, you only need a little bit. This is a game changer. The young lady on TikTok mentioned this and her skin is flawless. Now for the girls who got hyperpigmentation, I never had it. You know what? I'm not gonna say I never had it because I do feel like around the side of my nose was a tad bit dark to me. And I don't see that anymore. So she had some dark spots on her and cleared up. When I read um, the comments in her video, all the girls are saying like, this works magic. If you don't get anything else, look, get this and get the last product that I'm about to show you. So the last product is the Skin Fix Barrier Moisturizer. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Okay. So this. This and this? Oh my God. Okay. I use this at night and I use this at night. I have another moisturizer for the day, but let me tell you something. These two together, please, we get get all three of these things. <laughs> you could you could you could you could budge on the towels, but these right here, game changer. Okay, when girls say oh they got a game changer product, sometimes I'm just like eh, it's not really there. But I I can almost a hundred percent guarantee you that you will love the two of these if you use them at night. Your skin is going to feel so just luscious you are going to immediately feel a difference. I haven't did it in the daytime because I feel like this smells like medicine and I don't really want like the sun and stuff with the whole sunscreen thing going on in the daytime. So I do it at night, but together, these are two items of those. Are, these are the three items that I would definitely buy again if they were, I don't even want to say lost or damaged. I'm going to say if I ran out of these, I'm always going to replace these two from now on. Thanks to the girl on TikTok. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have ever used these two items before. If you have a good vitamin C serum, if you don't, check check these out. I did another video on them, a separate video before, but I'll, I'll link them again for you ladies if you do want to check them out. And as far as the Skin Fix Barrier, it's the one with the tri triple lipid um, peptide cream. So amazing, 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 amazing. So there you have it. Those are 10 things that I would absolutely buy again if it was lost damaged or if I needed to replace it. So I hope that helps you guys and kind of getting into my world on things that I actually love and things that I like to buy and things that I would replace if it was lost, damaged, or if it ran out. So I hope that helps you guys. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog. Make sure you are checking the blog out, guys. A ton of tips on there for those of you guys who would prefer to read something and kind of like take screen prints. CocoStylesNYC.com and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.